Okay, this is simple cute, uh, columnar epithelium made for Mount San Antonio College Anatomy 10A lab. Quick review, we have four main tissues in the body. Right now we're going to focus on epithelial tissue, but you should also know that we also have connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissues. Our entire body, if we were to break it down, and we can fit anything, all of our tissue, into one of these categories. Review of epithelia. Remember, this is plural for epithelium. Epithelium is singular. Uh, by definition, epithelium must be lining a surface. It's found on the surface and it's lining that particular surface. Uh, there will be cells very close together, meaning there will not be any gap in between them. There will not be any blood vessels in epithelium. And we name epithelium with two part names. One part will describe the number of layers of cells. The other part will describe the shape of the cells. So let's review. Number of layer of cells would mean this is simple because there's only one cell layer thick. This is the basement membrane. That's where the epithelium ends. So this is the, the epithelium right here you're looking at. And it's only one cell thick, so we call it simple. If there are more than one layer of cells, then we call that stratified. Shape. We talked about squamous shape being squished, SQ for squish, SQ for squamous. You know, you can talk about the shape of being more square so that the height is about the length as the width. That would be a cuboidal cell. And the columnar cell is more rectangular in that the height is a lot taller than the width. And notice here the nucleus looks squished horizontally. Here the nucleus is perfectly round. And here, sometimes you will see nucleus being more uh, oval uh, lengthwise, okay, more vertical uh, oval. Here's the textbook view of simple columnar epithelium. And in this case, we tell you it has microvilli, not cilia. Okay. As explained in the packet that we give you, for simple columnar epithelium, we want you to know them as non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium because it has microvilli, not cilia. Okay. Non-ciliate means no cilia. Here's the picture. As you can see, there's a white space here, so this is definitely lining something. And if you look at the liner, it's only one cell thick because you can see all of these nuclei. Uh, and if you look at the shape of the cell, it's, the height is a lot taller than the width, so it's columnar. Okay. Let's talk about the location, where to find this. For your test on the first practicum, we are only interested in the non-ciliated type. Non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium can be found in your digestive tract. Okay, so this, uh, what you see here, the stomach, intestine, colon, all the way down to the anus. Uh, the anal canal, that would be simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated with microvilli, okay? Uh, question was asked, is there only one or the other? Yes, in the first practicum, it's either non-ciliated with microvilli or ciliated with no microvilli, okay? So let's take a look at some samples. As you see here, there's a space which makes this epithelium, and this will be the apical surface. If you notice the dark oval, horizontal oval, that would be the nucleus, right, of these tall, skinny cells. So this is definitely columnar cell. And most of the time, you can see pretty much one line of nuclei. So that would be simple. Put it all together, it would be simple columnar epithelium. By the way, on the test, if you just recognize epithelium, just write that down. Epithelium, that will get you partial credit. Then, if you remember to ask yourself the two questions. Number one, how many layers of cells do you see? And number two, what is the shape of these cells? That will get you more points if you can answer those two questions when it comes to epithelium. Okay. Here's the basement membrane. Okay. And microvilli will be here on the apical surface. 
And the best way to describe them would be, it's like a fuzzy, they call it brush border in the textbook, but sometimes it just kind of looks fuzzy, okay? Maybe a little bit thickened, but usually you don't see the actual strand, you just see a little bit of a fuzziness, that would be microvilli. Here's another view of simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated, but it does have microvilli. So once again, here at the apical surface, you see a little bit of a, a thickened line, and it's kind of fuzzy looking, that would be microvilli. These would be nucleus, this is nucleus, this is nucleus, this is nucleus, this is a nucleus of a tall cell, so that would be a columnar cell. Okay, so we say name this cell, that would be columnar cell. And we say name this cell, that would be a goblet cell. Okay. And uh, if we say name this tissue, you would say non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium. It does not have to be in that order, but all of those words should be on the same line for you to get full credit. Okay. Now, if, you, if it helps, you can think your way through the answer. That is, if you see this white space, you say, aha, it's epithelium. Write that down. That will give you partial credit. Then if you remember to ask yourself, oh, if it's epithelium, number one, how many layers? And if you see, there's only one layer thick, because this is something else, okay? It's only one layer thick. Then you can say simple. Write that down. That will give you another, a little bit more credit. And then if you remember to ask yourself, what is the shape of the cells? And you recognize the shape is columnar, then you say it's write down columnar, that would get you even more credit. And then lastly, if you remember that there's no cilia here, it's just microvilli, and you write non-ciliated, that would get you the full credit. So once again, the exact order is not important, just as long as all those words are on the same line. Now I want to introduce a new cell. These are columnar cells, yes. But sometimes toward the top, you see something going on here. It's like almost a space is missing. Well, that's not a space. That's something called goblet cells. Goblet cells make a protein called mucin. And goblet cells will secrete, will eject, will discharge, will dump mucin into the lining here, into the, uh, the digestive tract. That's why our digestive tract sort of has a, a, a slimy covering in the inside. That's the mucus coming from the goblet cells. They're always found, goblet cells are found in columnar epithelium. So let's go see another example. Here's another example. Hopefully you recognize that this is a free surface, so this makes it epithelium. Then you ask yourself, well, how many layers of cells? If you look at the nucleus here, Hopefully you can see that it's only one layer thick. And if you ask yourself, well, what shape? Then you can see that it's columnar, okay? Pretty tall and skinny cells. And then you could have to remember that there's here at the apical surface, it looked kind of fuzzy and kind of a little bit of a thickened line. A thick line running around the surface here, that would be microvilli. So it's non-ciliated. Here's another look at simple columnar epithelium, and this is high power, so we're zooming in. What you see here, these are the nucleus of columnar cells. Uh, I know it looks a little confusing here, but if you pay attention here, it looks more just one layer of cell thick, so simple columnar. This fuzziness here is microvilli, okay, microvilli on the top, and here we do have a goblet cell that's about to let go of mucus, okay, about to discharge. Here's another goblet cell, another goblet cells, another goblet cells, another goblet cells. Okay, so this would be non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium. It has microvilli. Okay, this is a pretty straightforward example. Okay, you look here, definitely this is epithelium. By the way, here you see signs of mucus. That's you should also know. Remember, goblet cells make mucus, so that's the stuff here. That would be mucus. Uh, cell nucleus here, nucleus of these columnar cells. Okay, so let, let's kind of go through the question that you might be asked. Number one, name this tissue. The answer we're looking for is non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium. 
if I asked, name this cell, then you would say that's a columnar cell. If I asked, name this structure up on top, that would be microvilli. If I ask, name this round structure, that's nucleus. Name this line, that would be plasma membrane. Name this pink stuff, that would be cytoplasm. Okay? The pink stuff would be cytoplasm. And then I ask for a location, you can say digestive tract, or you can say stomach, intestine, colon, all in the digestive tract. Here's another view of simple columnar epithelium with microvilli, non-ciliated. Here's a little bit of mucus on top, but if you look here, this is microvilli. Very nice oval, vertical oval nuclei. Lots of cytoplasm, okay, lots of cytoplasm. Another look of simple columnar with microvilli, no cilia. Hopefully here you recognize it. It's down here and over here, okay? This is simple columnar, non-ciliated epithelium. You see a little bit evidence of uh, possible mucus, but definitely, you know, microvilli, little microvilli. Here's another look. Now, this is stained really dark, I know, but, uh, but you still see the nuclei here. And these are tall, skinny cells, and this would be simple columnar, non-ciliated epithelium. More of the same, non-ciliated, simple columnar epithelium. Here you do see some goblet cells, okay, goblet cells, but definitely microvilli. See how that thickened, uh, kind of fuzzy top here, that's microvilli. Oh, by the way, this is mucus, you know, that's also on your list to know, you should know mucus because of the goblet cells. Here's another view of the same tissue. All of this is mucus up on top. Here's a goblet cell, here's a goblet cell, goblet cells, goblet cells. The rest of these cells are columnar cells. So this tissue would be simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated, found in the digestive tract. Here's another look, okay. simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated. Another look, different sample, all the same thing, simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated. Now this is up close and personal, okay, very high magnification. You should now see clearly this white space makes it epithelium and it's only one cell thick at the basement membrane right there and these are definitely tall skinny cells so this is should be very straightforward non-ciliated that's microvilli so it's non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium more of the same this area here and this area here non-ciliated simple columnar epithelium. Okay, this is more of the same, but staying with a different dye, that's why it looks different. In this particular dye, the nucleus comes out blue, okay, so all these are nuclei, and then the uh, cytoplasm comes out of a yellowish tone, and then all these lines, you know, a great view of plasma membrane for these columnar cells. And sure enough, you see it's only one line, right? So it's only one layer thick. So it's simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated. This is another easy example. Okay, this, of course, is different. 
But this is definitely epithelium, that's epithelium, that's epithelium. So this, this, and this are all alike, all similar. This is mucus. Here we have microvilli. These are nuclei of simple columnar cells. So this tissue is simple columnar epithelium, non-ciliated. And that's it.